come out at night. <laughs> we got us a full moon to help keep that gas station bright. All right. Here goes our very first gas station cleaning in the middle of the night. Taking this and this. Gonna cover the pumps. Use EBC as our degreaser. And then go do a gutter cleaning job early as hell in the morning. So we've gone ahead and thrown tarps over all of these pumps. These are... Shit, I forget what size they are. Let me check. I think I threw one out. Perfect size. I almost got one smaller, but 10 by 12. So we're, these are good. We just wrapped them, put a couple pieces of tape like this. Uh, tarp tape. You can't even see it because it's clear, but it's right there. Holds it in place well. Aaron's running the hose out. We're going to get the hose hooked up to the tank. That's our water line. And uh, we're going to surface clean it. I'm going to pre treat it with. SH and EBC. First, I'm going to blow this off with a blower right here. Just make sure all the loose stuff's picked up. Hit it with uh, EBC and SH. I'll show you that ratio. And uh, yeah. All right. So, our game plan is he's filling up fuel, filling up the power washer. So, I already went through with a blower and just kind of lightly blew everything off. Um, didn't go too crazy, but. You know, there was like rocks and stuff up in here and like parts where the cement was in poor condition, like over here. I just blew out all the loose rocks just to make our lives easier. Uh, like I said, all the pumps are covered up, so I'm going to go through and get everything wet down. So wet the pumps, even though they're covered, wet the tops of them and stuff. Uh, wet that plant, just wet everything around. Shouldn't take long at all. Wet this stuff. Um, and then we're going to apply our chem. And I'm going to start on the roof applying, we're going to downstream straight SH and 32 ounces of EBC. And we'll have to let you know how it goes. I talked on the phone with Carlos 30 minutes before coming here because I'm a procrastinator. And he, you know, tried, he explained that it's hard to just diagnose with downstreaming what ratio to use because everyone's downstream is just different. Some are two to one, some are 10 to one, some are five to one. So I'm pretty sure mine is like seven to one. I'm not positive though, but you know, hopefully all this stuff will come up. All right, so I'm making a really quick video just to do this EBC stuff is amazing. Freaking amazing. I can't believe how well it ate this stuff up. This was black and it's coming right off. I've treated half the roof already. This is just downstreaming you guys. Unfortunately, this half wasn't as dirty. It was not nearly as dirty to show you a before, but I, I believe I got a before photo I'll throw in the video. I mean, it was nasty, so this has really cleaned it up. We did a little test spot, let it sit for two minutes, and then we washed it away. It was literally just this random white square in the whole thing, so. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. Aaron's making me another batch, because we're only doing five gallon mixes at a time so again what we did was four gallons of the chlorine and 32 ounces of EBC uh, like I said I'm gonna rinse this off and uh, we also coated the whole bottom with heat with the same mixture so this concrete's been dwelling I'm gonna rinse this off and then Aaron can probably well I gotta do the top first because we got, only got this one power washer so I'm gonna do the, get this top finished and then we can start uh, surface cleaning and we'll get out of here real quick this is awesome I'm really stoked about this because uh, I always have my doubts with running cold water and, and cleaning things but cold water this is cold water and it's cleaning it up great so shouts out to Carlos if you guys need some EBC um, I'll leave a uh, contact uh, uh, contact in the video description all right so right now all I'm doing is a we're just downstreaming, so I'm applying the chem onto this half. We did like already to that second post, but going that way. So we've done like over half the roof on it. Oh, and this camera up here, I'm like sketched out about it, so I'm just going to leave that corner dry and then spray 
this way, and then. Spray that way. That way I'm not spraying like straight on that camera. So, my phone's at 10%. Uh, I'm about to put it on the charger, like, right now. Um, let it charge for a bit, but we're surface cleaning right along. Uh, what we do is we get that tank, this tank over here, nice and full. When it's full, he can go for, like, 30 minutes with that surface cleaner. Um, and then I got, since it's only one water source, then I got the hot water machine. And I'm right behind him, like, popping all the gum off and trying to hit tough grease working really nice this hot water machine is fun dude it's 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 cool um, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my uh, I'm gonna get this charged and I'm gonna get my tripod set up so you guys can see it's crazy how much steam maybe it just looks like it because I'm in the middle of it but it feels like it's built the steam fills up like a whole a whole row of like the gas station like it fills it up you can barely see what you're doing it's pretty sweet this is fun, man. I'm gonna switch my whole business model over to midnight gas station cleaning. And I really don't think it's a problem with the city. We've had two cops drive by. One of them drove by real slow and we thought, oh shit, this is it. But uh, we're good and we're right next to the police station. So I feel like if it was an issue, they would have came in by now and told us to get out. All right. So we're making progress. We got all of this done. You know, big grease spots. This is just darker concrete. Um, wow, it looks a lot worse on camera, but it looks a lot better. I mean, check it out. That gray is what he hasn't done. So we got it set back. Um, there is another spigot. It's on the back. Hose reaches, but for whatever reason, when you turn it on, like, it's it's just an effed up spigot. Like, all the water, like, comes out the top of it. And I can't figure it out. It's probably something simple, but it comes out right there. On the one in the back. And I wanted to have that hooked up so I can be popping gum off and stuff. You know, and hitting the grease spots a little harder. But I'm going to have to wait for him to get done, unfortunately. And these guys are going to be opening up soon, so we're on a time crunch.
all this concrete. It was bad. We did all this. We also did this underhang. And this was all a first time for a gas station. First time gas station. Popped all the gum off. This place hasn't been cleaned in a long time. It looks great. Like I'm really blown away. Popping the gum off is a must. Like it is night and day how much different it looks from when we didn't pop before the gum was popped off. I know this grease looks really bad on the camera, but it really doesn't look as bad in person. And we hit it with hot water too. Like the tough grease spots in front of every pump, hit it with hot water. Still wasn't coming up. Uh, it came up a little more than cold water, but not all the way. And that's expected. You're never gonna get 100% oil removal, oil stain removal from anything out there, any cam or any heat. And that hot water power washer, man, y'all saw that steam. It's unreal. It's hot. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's got jokes. 